Hello students, I'm Joya ma'am and today I'm here to guide you regarding notice writing. I know many of you are baffled regarding the issue of notice writing. But before writing a notice, let us know what a notice is. What is a notice? A notice is an assembled concise information for a targeted group of people regarding an event. A notice can either be handwritten or may be found in printed form. Look, generally a notice may cover any of the followings. General instruction, an event, an inauguration, a function. Students, let us look at the key points to cover while writing a notice. A notice must be brief and to the point, containing the central idea. It should not exceed more than 120 words. It should be explicitly stated in indirect speech and passive voice. A notice must be written in a proper format. Go through the instruction carefully and thoroughly. Given clues or hints must be followed. Additional points may be put on. Lessening of clues lead to deduction of marks. Grammatical errors and spelling mistakes must be avoided. No use of personal pronouns as I or V should be included in notice writing. Okay, now let's move on to the next topic. Students, it is imperative for you to know the format of an ideal notice. Otherwise, you can't do anything without it. First of all, you need to name the organization or the institution and that should be written in capital letter. Now, in the very next line, you will write notice as it is shown here and that should be written in capital letter too. In the extreme left corner of the notice, you will write SLNO that means serial number and you will give a colon and in the extreme right corner you will write date. Okay. Now in the very next line you may give the title or the headline and that is optional. You may give or you may not give. Now we are coming to the body of the notice. A notice should begin like this. This is to inform all. Now you will write the whole thing in indirect speech and in passive voice. Okay. After you finish it, in the extreme left side, you will write countersigned. Then you will write ST and there will be a slash. Now you will write the designation and after that you will write the name of the organization as exactly it is shown here. And in the extreme right side, you will also write SD, designation, name of the organization as you can see it over here. Okay, clear? So now it is a time to exemplify. I have written a notice for you and the thing is that you have to follow the hints otherwise your marks will be deducted and you have to keep it in mind. Students, see a notice is given over here and after reading that, I will come to the notice writing. Imagine you are a secretary of cultural society of your school, Sandeep Chanda. As a cultural secretary, write a notice inviting the students to participate in the inter-school debate competition. School uniforms should be required. Mention the time date, venue, last date of submission, of names of the students, mention for or against, language allotted for the debate. So now I will come to the notice. Students, now it is the time to exemplify. I have just written the notice. 
in accordance to the hints that are given here you can see in the middle i have written the name of the organization or institution i have been named in school i have just mentioned abc school in capital letters in the very next line in the middle i have written notice a n o t i c e in capital letters in the extreme left corner of the notice you can find sl number that means serial number and the extreme right i have written the date i have mentioned the topic inter school debate competition the topic is not mandatory but i have written it now i am reading the notice this is to inform all an inter school debate competition is going to be held on the premise st john school at tnm on next saturday 26th of september 2020 the school is situated in goriahat road kolkata the students who are interested to participate in the debate are requested to submit their names to the undersigned of abc school by 22nd september tuesday it is mandatory to mention within quote for or within quote against of the topic one will be willing to speak the debate will be conducted in english okay this is the body of the notice now we are arriving in the concluding part in the extreme left corner i have written counter signed and now after that i have written sd sd slash hyphen then i have written headmistress and in the next line there is abc school in the extreme right also there is sg you can't write your own name here as it is already mentioned that imagine you are a secretary of the cultural society of your school sandeep chanda so it is assumed that your name is sandeep chanda so you have to write here sandeep chanda sd sandeep chanda secretary cultural society abc school I will request my dear students to follow the instructions given in the notice minutely and thoroughly in this notice you can find that the name of the secretary of the cultural society Sandeep Chanda has been mentioned but if it would not be like that the signature would be yours it would be like that suppose you are the secretary of the cultural society it might be like that and one thing i will advise you to learn by heart or to memorize the format of the notice so that you should not discover yourself confused see you soon till then goodbye happy learning